I wanted to come on and just be really vulnerable with you and share three of my own personal struggles. First, I don't have the utmost self-control with my diet at all times, and I do get down on myself for that. I sometimes get stuck in these all or nothing ruts where I'm either eating way too much crap because it's a holiday and I've already reached my goals, or I am being way, way too strict and not allowing myself any indulgences because of the pressures of being a public figure in health. And that's something I'm consciously working on. Number two is that I sometimes struggle with giving myself that quiet self time every day. I might have a huge amount to do or I'm just really excited about projects I'm working on. And so taking that quiet time to myself either seems like a waste of time or too boring compared to other things that I could be doing. And third, if I'm being 100% honest, I still do struggle with the cycle of burnout in the same way as I do with the diet I just talked about. And what I mean by that is I get so excited to share the info that I have and to help others succeed that I go all in without at all noticing that I'm running myself down. And all of a sudden it hits me and I'm way too exhausted to keep making content, videos, or going live for a while. And I notice how when I'm giving myself what I need, it fundamentally changes me as a person. I need to take that time to myself every single day to recharge and connect, even for just a few minutes. I need to plan out my days in advance so that my activities are a little more balanced and also allow myself these little indulgences so that my diet can be a little more balanced as well. When I really do those things that I need, I notice I'm much more joyful, I'm more present, and I can stay way more focused. It just improves my life as a whole. So we all have struggles, and I just want you to know that it is a marathon, not a sprint. And nobody is 100% perfect all the time. It's okay to stumble. It's okay to pull back, to take a breather, and to reset. We need to sometimes. At the end of the day, our mental and physical health and wellness should be top priority, whatever that means to us as the unique individuals that we are. So let's together revisit our priorities, keep working towards them, and we can make it happen. I am always here for you. Comment below with some of your struggles and let's be there for each other.